Hi everyone, it's Lillian here and I'm just hopping on to do an uh, impromptu Facebook Live. Uh, my name uh, is Lillian Kemp and I'm coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. And um, my business name is Stamper's Niche. So when I showed this slimline card um, earlier in the week, I think it was this week, yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, I had a lot of people ask for the measurements. And it's a slimline card that has a bit of a fun fold. So it's like this. And I wanted to hop on and just share it with you and you can take it whatever direction you want. Now, when I made this first card, I was actually casing somebody else for the fold and I made it upside down and backwards the first time around. And so I uh, hope that I can maybe guide you into how to do it the right way around. Fortunately, the heat, my heat tool heats things up and I could peel things away and do it again. But that's just how it goes sometimes when you are doing something, especially when you're doing it for the first time. Well, who am I? Who am I kidding? Um, even my second or third time, I am likely to do it backwards. And I'm having some computer issues here. Let me just see if I can get myself up on the screen. And there we go. And there, oh, Karen, you're here. Yay, I've got company. So this was um, what it looked like. So I'm not making this one. I'm using totally different um, paper but gives you the idea on this one, I even embossed, I cut out, die cut some of the snowflakes and then after I glued them on, embossed them here. Um, for the little corners here, I just took a square and cut it diagonally and just put a little bit in each corner. So that's how I decorated that and some of the snowflake sequins. And um, yeah, so the snowflakes I embedded here were actually cut out from here. So that was using the snowflake one and I'm going to now because I've been featuring this bundle or this suite I should say all week the poinsettia suite I'm going to do it but today we're not using any of the poinsettias we're going to use something else from here because sometimes we we uh, zero in on those poinsettias and forget what else is in here so let's just put that to the side and we are going to be using the poinsettia place designer paper and we're going to be using this one right here so that's the back of it so actually this is likely one of my favorite papers today anyway from this uh, set of designer paper and this is one of the 15 different designer papers that's on sale for 15 percent off so if it is something that you like this is the month to buy it just in october is it on sale so let's start we're going to start with the paper trimmer here, only we're going to use the scoring blade. And I have a piece of cardstock, and it, so that's square, so it doesn't matter which end you put it at the top. And I've scored it at two, right here, and also at five and a half, so right there. So I've done the two score lines crash bang. So the eight and a half by eight and a half scored at two by five and a half. And boy, that clashes. I should have found some different sticky paper. And then you're just going to fold them in, making sure your edges line up and then fold this one in here. Hi, Sue. Hey, are you impressed? I, I changed the position of my computer. I'm glancing up and I can actually see you. Mind you, my video's frozen, but at least uh, you can let me know if it's not working. So now I'm going to bring in the designer paper. So I cut three pieces, one at eight and a quarter by three and a quarter, and that's going to go in here. So it's just a quarter of an inch smaller than this panel here. The next one is eight and a quarter. So all of my designer paper is eight and a quarter because it's just a quarter inch smaller we started out with eight and a half so this is eight and a quarter by two and three quarters and this is going to go here now if you wanted to put it here you would just need to cut another one so this is going to go here and then i cut one more eight and a quarter by one and three quarters and that's going to go here and 
I can glue those down right now. So let's start with the eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and fasten that down right here. Now this paper does is directional. There's an up and a down. So I even remembered to cut it the right way. I hope it was the last time I checked anyway, but you guys know me, I can change, make, be very uh, creative, shall we say. There we go. Donna, hi, how are you? Oh, so, just, so it's making a difference for my, um, for how to hear, how, well, how to hear. So it, you can hear me better when I have the computer in this new position. Is that right? That's good to know. All right, so I'm going to put this here like that. And then I'm going to bring this in. So this is going to close like this and this like this, and this is going to go right here. So Donna, this paper that I started with is eight and a half by eight and a half. And then I scored it and I'm not going to go by memory. So you'll just have to rewatch the beginning of the video to know the scoring. So how it goes, because I wouldn't want to tell you the wrong thing. So now we've got really the basis of the card. This card, the original card, where did I put it? I just cut rectangles to put on the front and it's on dimensionals. And then here, I just made sure this rectangle was smaller. And the reason, the only reason I put this here is it just sort of tidied up that. And then I put the rectangle here. I'm going to go with the stitch nested framelits on this one, just to give a little bit different look here. So I used the very largest one and I'm going to put it here like that. And Oh, Karen. Okay. So maybe we've solved my volume issues. Karen, good to know. Um, cause I've been trying to use a mic and do all kinds of things and nothing seems to be working. So I've not made this particular card before, but I sort of have a plan. So I cut out three of the little branches from the poinsettia dies and I used vellum for one of them. And then for these two, I used the brushed metallic paper that we have. So this gorgeous, I just love this paper. I can't, can't stop using it. I, and I love mixing them or using them on their own. So that's where I got these little metallic ones here. And I want to do a little stamping on here before I assemble the card. So let's put this to the side and bring in... I got lots of scrap paper here to stamp on. I likely don't even need any of it. So of course I bring in the dirty one. Okay, there we go. So now I am going to take one of the dies. Whoops, not that one. This one, it says, warm wishes from our home to yours. And it's going to fit there. That's actually one of the reasons I chose it because it fits. And I'm going to emboss it in gold. So I'm going to use my... Um, embossing buddy there and ink this up with Versamark and for the memento and the Versamark with the pads I like to put my pointy finger here and get the pressure right where the stamp is um, I, I tend to think that works better there, but you know that's that's me and let's hope we get this straight so one two three lift and then we're going to bring in the embossing powder. I'll just move that out of the way for now. And I know that you can't see the Versamark just yet, but when I put this on, you'll be able to. There we go. Make sure we don't have any strays where we don't want it. Put that to the side. And always put my lid on because I've been known to flip that like bang the spoon and send embossing powder all over my craft room and if you don't think that is fun to pick up so let's heat this up and 
embossing, heat embossing is likely the biggest wow um, ever. It, I sold most of us on stamping initially, I, I think. A lot of us share that same story, and I know that's what sold me. And when my kids were young, their friends would want to come in and do this, the heat embossing, and now our grandkids are the same. So it is just one of those things that's like magic. So I always hold it up to a light and, and wiggle it around just to make sure there's no powder, that it's shiny all over. And then I even lightly run my finger over and it looks good there. So now, okay, I think I lost my vellum. I likely blew it away. Oh, there it is. So now I am going to just, um, I think I'll put, the, and you might say, why did I use this, these particular colors? Um, in the paper here, there is soft suede, and this is just, to me, a metallic soft suede. It's, it's actually got a different name, but I'm calling it metallic soft suede. I, I felt that it picked up those dark stems. I'm just trying to arrange these, and now I am going to bring in a glue dot and my piercing tool. And try to slide a glue dot under there just to hold them in place. There. And I might try to do another one over here. And now, Sue, you're going to be so disappointed because here I was following your comments and I forgot to watch my computer and it went off. And so what? I will just reactivate it here if you will just bear with me. There we go. Let's see if there are any more comments. No, it's looking good. So now this is going to go, where, does it, where did it go here? On top of this one. Now, I don't know if you're getting tired of me doing poinsettias and slimline cards. I will move on, but I have been hooked this week. And so I hope you've been enjoying my little theme that's been going on. So now it's like that. And I am going to come back and finish this, but I just thought I would put this on here. So I need dimensionals, and I'm going to put them on this side here. And then I know that it is going to go about here. So I am going to put my dimensionals. I like to put them here so that I know they're not going to hit the next layer. And I'll just test to make sure that they're not going to be seen anywhere. Yep, it's all looking good. And if you followed all that rambling, you've been doing well. Okay. Oh, I moved my garbage can, nearly threw that in my desk drawer. Oh, have you ever done that? Some of you were laughing while I was sharing that I was tired one night and stamping and I tried to clean my stamps in my iPad, that's when I knew it was time to quit. So I don't know where I should put that. I guess I'll line it up there. So now you're seeing how it's coming together already and I am going to just put a bit of ribbon there to hide that. Now I could use, this is gorgeous ribbon and I'm not sure Oh, I don't know what's happening with my screen. Not sure. Should I use this one here? So this is the gorgeous red ribbon that is showcased on the, the, the Poinsettia Suite pages. So we could bring that in like that. So trim it up. So it, that would look good there. Or there's this gold that actually is part of, I think it's the one Forever Greenery in the main catalog. I just love this stuff. I'm a little addicted to it. I think I just love how it frays. So let's see. 
We've got the gold as well. So what do you think? Should I use that? Or should I... can't see any of your comments. Um, okay. Or should I use the red? The red? Well, I think I'm going to go with the gold. Seems I can't see comments right now for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten that bow up and trim it up. I was just seeing how long I can make the tails because I, I really like these wispy tails. So this really unravels beautifully and then you get all these wonderful little pieces here. Oh, Donna said red. Um, maybe I should go back to red. Okay, let's see. I can always use that bow on something else. Because I was when I was planning this card last night, Donna, I could not make up my mind. That's why they were both on my desk. So let's see. Get some of this mess out of the way. It's a little bit wonky. So like that, is that what you think? That does kind of pop, doesn't it? We're going to go with that. Thank you, Donna. I'm glad your comment popped up. Plus, I love any excuse to use this ribbon. And it'll cover more of my glue dots. So there, we have got, and it's such sheer ribbon, you can still read through it. And I could make that smaller even likely, but you get the idea. So now for the inside. So for the inside, I decided that I would just so you uh, use the next smallest stitched frame uh, nested stitched framelits and go like that. So I'm going to stick this down. You can see this comes together pretty quickly. I love being messy on the, that. It's very freeing. Um, and oh, and Karen says red too. So oh, so. Two very crafty ladies who make beautiful projects. I better follow your advice, right? I'm not going to put this on dimensionals because it's going on the inside, but I do want to make sure to only put it here. So I'm just going to put it on that side. And make sure it's not sticking out. Kind of center it there. So that just finishes that off. Now for the inside, I did start out with a piece of very vanilla and to me it, it sort of got lost. So instead of just doing corners here, I brought, oops, I didn't even tell you the measurements, sorry. So I cut it down to two and three quarters by six and three quarters. So like that. And then I made a real red layer that is just one eighth bigger so two and seven eighths by six and seven eighths and again you can play with that however you want and it's going to layer like that and go in here but before we do that let's do just a little bit more stamping so we'll bring in this again something's bumpy there and I'm going to actually bring in the soft suede for the words. You can see I've used soft suede with, uh, I just have to get this out, I've got one of those little gold pieces of thread stuck to, I better just clean it on my, on here, stuck here, it was stuck in the ink pad and now it's stuck on there and that will not make for a nice stamp. So let's get that taken care of. And this is also from the Poinsettia set, set. And I know Donna said that I have led her astray. She's going to have to get this, some of this. So might as well reinforce it. So there we go like that. And now I'm going to bring in the real red ink. And this gorgeous little stamp that matches really the, the little sprigs we put on the front. And I'm going to stamp that off once. 
So it's a little bit lighter and I think I'll come in right here and maybe just a little bit more like that. What do you think? I think that'll do. And let's close this up. We're nearly there. So now we're going to fasten these two together. So Donna, are you reading that Karen's writing you a message there? She's, she's, uh, she's addicted to this suite too. So there, we've got it like that. Now we're just going to fasten it into the card. Bring it in. Or I should put it up a little bit. The joy of the liquid glue. You can still move it around. So there we go, just like that. Now I could add some little embellishments there. I kind of forgot, which is not like me to forget my little gems, but I will work on that. And then I had a bit of the 12 by 12 paper left. And guess what I'm going to do now? If you watch the video um, earlier in the week, I showed you ways of doing the envelopes for the slimline cards and this was one of them there were other ways so if you're interested go back and look either at my facebook videos or you can go to my youtube channel and see it there too so if you have a friend who you want them to see one of these you can direct them to my youtube channel as well if they don't have facebook um, and one of the reasons I didn't use liquid glue on here is I have learned the hard way that it actually soaks through and moistens the sticky part and it sticks closed. So just you might want to um, stick with a dry adhesive here. And now I need to fasten this on. Stop talking Lillian so I can pay attention and get this in the right spot there we go oh sue i'm glad you're liking this card do you know what this paper didn't do anything for me how many times have i said that about designer paper and then when i start to use it i fall in love with it and wonder how i could have missed how the potential um this is gorgeous paper, but you can make this style of card with anything, and it, of course, doesn't have to be Christmas. You've got some gorgeous paper ordered, Sue, on your sale items, and... <coughs> Pardon me. Can you imagine artistry blooms with this? Artistry blooms? Yeah, that's it. So there you go, everyone. There is the card with the matching envelope, and here is the card that started it all. <coughs> And I've got a tickle in my throat. So let me know what you think of it. <coughs> also, you know I love it when you share. I'm sorry, I am going to have to drink some more water. There, this is really one of those videos that's just going all over the place. And um, what was I going to say? Thank you for encouraging me to share this with you. And um, I have no idea what I was going to say, so I guess I might as well finish it off. I'm so glad you are all liking this. Um, I kind of like it myself. And thank you to you ladies suggesting the red. I really like that. So anyway, I better finish it off because I am rambling. Take care, everybody. Stay warm and have fun. Bye-bye.